The Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems wrapped up its annual show in Orlando this week. Now the last time I attended was several years ago, back before high school kids knew what a drone was and could put one together using a kit from a hobby shop. In those days, the unmanned vehicle field was a cottage industry where almost everyone knew each other and the customers for UAVs were mainly the military. Not anymore, of course. Now, if you search for the term quadrotor on YouTube, you'll get about 181,000 results. And it seemed like almost all 181,000 of them were at the show. There certainly weren't as many people in uniform roaming the aisles as in earlier days. And many exhibitors seem to be pinning their financial hopes on the FAA formally allowing civilian UAVs to fly in American skies, something they claim could happen relatively soon. But I have to wonder how much of a boon to the industry this development could really be. The UAVs targeting hobbyists and kids mostly have a flying time of around 10 minutes or so. And some knowledgeable hobbyists I've spoken to claim that kind of time is even quite optimistic. The UAVs aimed at law enforcement and other professional uses can fly for a lot longer, but they have price tags of $10,000 and up. The police departments I'm familiar with don't typically have a lot of money to throw around, so I wouldn't be surprised to see many of them trying to make do with consumer-grade devices which, as was evident at the show, can produce high-quality video that's relatively steady for just a few hundred dollars if you could live with the idea of only getting eyes on the target for brief periods. What was also evident at the show was that there is still a lot of innovation underway when it comes to designing drones. Innovators are coming up with new swimming drones, drones primarily designed for hovering that can also fly fast in a straight line, as well as drones primarily designed for getting from point A to B that can also hover. And perhaps the coolest thing about all this a lot of innovative ideas about drones are coming from kids.